good morning. Uh, my name's Rich. I'm one of the pastors at Living Rock Church. And uh, I'm out on my walk with Doug. I don't know if you can see Dougie. He's over there sniffing. Uh, one of the things I've been really blessed with, and I'm sure you have as well, over the last couple of months has been the weather. It's been phenomenal. And just the opportunity to go out and to think and to reflect. And, and yesterday, uh, Stephen Russell shared about the story of the Roman centurion. And, and I loved what he shared. And I love that story. It's such a powerful story. It's, it's this picture of uh, the might of Rome represented by the Roman centurion. You know, this was the most powerful empire and kingdom on the planet at the time. Um, the might of Rome bowing and acknowledging the authority and the power of the kingdom of God and, and its king, Jesus. It's such a beautiful picture and we read about it in Matthew's gospel, Matthew 8 and in Luke's gospel and in Luke 7. And uh, Stephen talked about how the, this Roman centurion, when trouble came and he needed help, he knew where to go. He went and found Jesus and that um, do people know that they can find hope, that they can find Jesus in us and his life and his hope and his power? And it's a great challenge. And he talked then about the power of words and, and uh, the power of authority and our understanding of those things. And this Roman centurion had a grasp of those concepts in a, in a, in a really profound way that amazed Jesus. And um, the Roman centurion has a servant who's sick. He's, he's really ill and, and he comes to represent this servant. Oh, there's Dougie. And he uh, asks Jesus to heal him. And Jesus says, yeah, that's fine. I'll come with you and I'll heal your servant. The word that Jesus uses here is the word therapeo. And it's to cure, it's to um, bring about a process of healing that can happen in an instant, can be miraculous, but also could be a natural course of healing. And there's two things the centurion says that I believe amazes Jesus. First, he says, no, you don't even need to come with me. Just from where you are, speak the word. And Stephen spoke about that yesterday, the power of authority that Jesus had, that he could speak the word and his servant will be healed. But he doesn't use the word therapeo. He says, my servant will be iomade, iome. I think I've done that word justice. It's a Greek word and it, and it means healing. It's very similar to therapeo, but it has even more significant connotations. And it speaks of, of, of restoration, healing and restoration. Essentially, he was saying, Jesus, just from where you are, you speak the word and my servant will be made whole, completely whole. And Jesus is amazed. He's like, wow, this guy's got it. He has faith. He has a revelation of who I am and the authority that I have. And Stephen talked about the power of our words. And I just want to encourage us today, in our lives, wherever we're going, whatever we're doing, the things that we meet, people that we encounter, that we draw on the power of the name of Jesus in a way that the centurion did, that will bring about healing and, and health, but also bring about restoration, that our words can be spoken today with power and make people whole. So just be encouraged with that today as you go about your daily business. Have a really blessed day. Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining us today. Search for us online and get information about upcoming events and more great teaching.